Hello, Jui. Where are you, Vera? While I'm in Bangkok, so I'm shopping. My goodness, Vera. You and your shopping. When would it end? We will miss our flight. I'm getting Neha perfume, so I'll leave in two minutes, okay? Okay, bye. Please hurry up. We'll miss our flight to Singapore. Can't you see I'm busy? But where's Vivan? You know he's lazy. He might be sleeping. He's a lucky chap. You know, last night he went for dinner with Julia. Julia? Hmm, I really thought he was with Shredder. Who is Shredder? She's that very tall girl. <laughs> well, I thought there were history. Where is Vivan? It might be. That breakfast with Maria turned into lunch, and then it turned into dinner as well. <laughs> Come on, let's go Just now. Just let Vivan know. You know him. We'll see him over there. Oh, goodness. It's so late now. I hope I didn't miss my flight. I just hope I get there on time. I really wonder where Vivan is. He must be chasing after some girl. Thank you. Oh my, I'm late as usual. Uh, Ouch! Ah. Uh, look, I'm really very I'm sorry. I'm already running okay? late. I'm so late. Yeah. Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> been waiting for you the entire morning. Now just leave the poor girl alone. Come on, we'll miss our flight. That's your seat, sir. Good morning. Morning. That side. Thanks. seat is right ahead. Come on, let's go. So your boarding pass. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. What was he saying to you? It's nothing. The aeroplane has four doors. Two ahead and two at the back. This is a seat belt and it's very easy to tie. By pressing this button, it'll open what like this. What a beauty. <laughs> really? What a beauty. Well, how do you even know who I'm talking about? I can see who it is that you're looking at. She completely stole your heart. Listen here, Vivan. Do you remember when we were in college? There used to be that one girl. She used to wear glasses each and every day. And do you remember how much oil she used to have in her hair as well? I have absolutely no idea who you're talking about. I'm telling you, she's Vera. Vera? That Vera? Don't you remember her? College? Uh, library? Those really big glasses? And oil in the hair? A long time ago, they used to live in peace. But then the evil witch came and separated both kingdoms. What a change. What? What a beautiful change. There is a card beside your seat that you should read through carefully. Enjoy your flight. Excuse me. Yes, sir? Hey, I'm Manpreet. Vivan. Hello. Hi. You are Vera, right? We used to study together, remember? Do you need anything, sir? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Welcome.
Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, so, we're not strangers anymore. Where do you stay? I mean, which hotel? Uh, can I see you tonight? For dinner. <laughs> For dinner. No, I'm busy. Uh, maybe just a coffee then? No, I'm busy. Well, then just a, just a drive. No, come on, Dewey, hurry. Uh, Yes, let's go. Hotel Orchid Parade. This is not funny, <laughs> Dewey, okay? Just stop it. Why are you getting angry at me? You saw how he continuously stared at you in the aeroplane, huh? And he kept calling you for everything. <laughs> at the airport, he even started running after you, Vera. <laughs> Actually, it was such a pain, right? I just felt like telling him, listen, you're crossing the line. Well, it is my duty. I had to be polite and smile at him. Poor guy. His eyes fell out and it's in his hands. And his heart fell at her feet. But the girl isn't interested. If she doesn't want to talk to him, then it's really not a problem. There are many other fish in the sea. And she's not the only one. Huh. Well, should I call someone else for comfort? <laughs> then you won't be alone. <laughs> no, no, Manpreet. Vera has something special. You know, she even has something special in her eyes. So much pride in her innocence. She's so beautiful. Please just don't fall in love. Hi. Hello. Wait a minute. Well, I hope you remember me. I mean, we just met yesterday. I'm Vivan, Vivan Suryavanchi. I know, your friend told me your name. Of course. How are you doing today? I'm good. Uh, can I see you tonight? There's such a beautiful restaurant. It's really great. I mean, especially in the evenings. Uh, I have already made plans with my friends, so I'm no, sorry. No, it's, it's okay, but uh, what about tomorrow? Uh, I'm going out with my friends, okay? Okay, uh, but wait, I mean... Thanks. Please have some of the food. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. I like this song. Okay. Now I know why Vivan wanted us to come here. Why? We can see how hard you're trying. We can also see she's not interested. Look, Vivan. Just looking at that girl, you can truly see that she wouldn't fall for your magic. Is there anyone who Vivan Suryavanshi's magic won't work on? <laughs> Let's see. What is it? Let's go dance. Vivan, what's Wait. happening? Just let him go. Hi. Hi. Uh, what a coincidence. Never in my dreams did I think I'll see you here. Now my boring four-day vacation will be so much nicer. You know, it tends to get very boring. Lovely place, isn't it? May I have a dance with you? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Believe but... Me, I'm not a very bad dancer. Uh, no thanks. I, I, I insist. Uh, actually, you know what? We were just leaving because we've got an early morning flight to catch. So we have to get back to the hotel. We're going back tomorrow. Are you joining me, Shika? Come, come. No, wait. Let's leave. You must come, wait. Come. Excuse Please us. Please wait just a minute. Excuse us. I'm Please sorry. Wait. Just... <laughs> I 
know he was very irritating, but really cute, right? I really think you should have danced with him, Vera. Listen, I don't really like all this. He would have asked for my address if I danced with him. And then he would have asked me for my telephone number and called and wanted to see me again. I remember exactly how he is. I haven't forgotten it. Really? So you recognize him, right? Of course. <laughs> he used to flirt with every, no, no, I'm sorry, every beautiful girl that was at our college. <laughs> you know, people at college thought you were a very serious person, Vera. But now I think that everyone was wrong about you, isn't it? <laughs> and now I'm happy that I won't be able to see him anymore since we're going back tomorrow. Wouldn't we going to stay here a bit longer? Yes, yes, you can stay here. Uh, I was I mean, that's not myself. fair, right? Please don't leave us here. You were all right until Vera showed up. Uh, it was planned that we all leave together. Why are you packing all of your bags, Vivan? Manpreet, I'm not in the mood to stay here. What's wrong? Why don't you want to stay here with us? What will you do there? It's so much better over here. We'll have lots of fun here. I have to make a sacrifice to get something. Only I can understand what he is trying to say to us. Some sweets for you, sir? No, thank you. Okay. Some sweets for you, sir? Sweets? Thanks. He followed me around all over Singapore. Look at him. Why is he looking over here? Because you're standing over here. So? This is my job, no? He's uh, looking at me. Joey, please go. No, you go. I'm busy here, okay? Yes, sir? Uh-uh. Not so. Vivan. Just Vivan. I'm sorry, sir. But, um, you are a passenger, and that is all. We don't get personal with them, so... Oh. How may I help you? Oh, yes. Um, may I have a glass of water, please? Sure. Glass of water? You could have you gone. Can go. Go now. Water, sir? Ah. Thanks. You're welcome. Excuse me? Yes? Could I have some plain water, please? I really don't like the taste of sparkling water. Sure, sir. Thanks again. Plain water, please. Oh, plain water. Get me one more glass of warm water. Oh, goodness. I just don't want to go there again, please. Okay, fine. Why don't you go to him? Go now. I have already seen you today, and I don't want this day to end. I want you to stay with me forever and never go away. Excuse me, sir. Are you busy talking to me? Oh, no, no. I was reading it. It was written in here. Lovely line, isn't it? Hello, Vera. Are you coming back? Yes, Mother. I just arrived now and I'm going to the flat. Okay. You haven't called me for two days and I was waiting for your phone call. It would be nice to see you. Mother, I wanted to come, but I'm very tired now. I will come later. How is Neha doing? Neha is extremely good. She went to college, and this morning she kept on asking Mother, about you. Mother, is that Vera? I want to talk to her. Give me the phone. Hello there, how are you? 
I'm fine, Neha. And I bought your favorite perfume for you, okay? Thank you. When are you coming? I'll give you a call and tell you when I'm coming, okay? Give it to me. Hello, my child. Yes, are you coming for dinner tonight? Mother, I can't promise anything, but I'll try my best, okay? Okay, my child. Bye. Mega, are you crazy? Now, why would I cancel my holiday just because of some girl? I mean, you know me really well. Bevan, you always travel all over the entire world, am I right? And it's the first time you've returned a week earlier. Something must have happened. Like what? I don't know. You tell me. Everything's going great here. And nobody has gotten ill. No crisis at all. So then what is the reason? I already told you, Mega. It's nothing. After so long, I know you extremely well, Vivan. You can't hide anything from me. And I know you a lot better than you think I do. Whether you tell me or not, you know I can see it in your face. And I know now exactly what you're thinking. So would you please just stop lying to me? Oh, really? You know if there was anything to tell you, then I would tell you, right? And now, don't worry about it now, okay? Promise me that you won't. I know what you want to say to me, but I don't know how I will react to all this. When I hear you say that you are in love with someone else, how will I live with your happiness? I don't know, Vivan. Morning. Yes, it's at the back. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. 4B, it's that way. Thanks. Hi, could we uh, talk? Excuse me, I have to go. I'm sorry. Just one minute. One minute. Where did she go? This is not okay, Mother. You know everything has it's a limit. It's been so many years that this relationship has been going on like this. Why is this making you so angry, my child? Every person has their reasons. Their reasons? This, this is one of the biggest problems that you have, Mother. You forgive every mistake that he makes. Every bad thing that happens to you is your destiny, right? Vera, do not forget that you are actually talking about your own father. Father? Please, Mother. I saw him earlier on, and he did not even ask how I was doing. He just stood there without saying a single word to me. He just left right away when his wife told him to just leave. Anyways, I don't care anymore, because I do not want to talk to him at all. But you, tell me something. The person that you call our father and your husband? What has he done for us, Mother, and for you? He kept on seeing and hiding you. Has he once ever introduced you as his wife? No, right? He doesn't deserve to be called a husband. He has his own world. He has many responsibilities, kids and a wife. And you are his second wife, right? And we are his second wife's children. 
That is why he has no responsibilities towards us. It's not like that, Vera. Why do you get so angry at him all the time? He does everything he can. Yes, he's doing us such a favor. If it was up to me, I wouldn't let him enter my house. But who knows why the two of you favor him so much? Really, Mother, I don't understand. Father? Why don't you tell me what's on your mind? I honestly won't feel bad. I'm sorry I couldn't talk to you earlier today. I feel very bad about it. I'm really sorry about that. Well, I was only talking to my mother. At least have supper. Now you would rather serve the guest who came to your house. I'm not hungry anymore. There are four doors on the plane. Two are in the front and two are at the back. This is a seat belt and it's easy to put on. If there's an emergency landing, then please put on this life jacket. Away from the world, we can be together in the sky. You're as beautiful as a fairy. I haven't seen anybody as beautiful as you before. I haven't seen anyone looking beautiful while being angry. You don't know how much I really love you. How will you know? Since you haven't tried to understand all my feelings, my feelings for you. Who is that? Will you tell me what her name is? Her name is... Who's the lucky girl? I can't upset her by revealing her name to everyone. The one I'm talking about must understand why. I just want to say that I love her very much, and I always will. Lucky girl, whoever she is. I have no control over myself anymore. Tell me, should I love you? Tell me. Thank you. There are Julie, keys. you go inside. Just go in, I said. that you want from me, huh? Just you. Why are you doing this? I love you with all my heart, Vera. Please, just stop following me. This is not in my control. What will you achieve by doing this? I only wanted to let you know how much I really love you. Why don't you understand my love? I don't actually need your love. But love is everyone's need. Love is not something that is forced. And what you're doing is you're forcing me. Where am I trying to force you, Vera? Please. Please don't you ever say my name again. But I don't like saying any other names. Really? In just two days, my engagement to Nishant is going to take place. Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Now your love is over? So you better leave me alone, okay? Who are you getting engaged to? Do... Do you really love him, Vera? How dare you ask me that? Vera, I'm only asking you if you really love him. I'm getting married to him. This isn't the answer to my question, Vera. 
It's not important for me to answer it. I don't owe you anything. Hurry up, please. Put these over here. I want you to fix everything as soon as possible. Shika and Mother are over there. Please enjoy yourselves, okay? Your jewelry must be on its way by now. Yes, I know. Hi, Vera. Hello. Hey. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thanks for coming. Don't you think the party is a bit boring, right? I think that we should have some fun. So why don't you begin all the fun? Hurry up and get those candles for me, please. Mother, look, Serva and Aditi have come here to perform for everyone. Look there. Oh, wow. You're looking very beautiful. So, how are you feeling? Are you feeling all right? I mean... What do you mean by that, Nia? Are you a little bit nervous? Tell me, do you have butterflies in your stomach as well? Yes, there are butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> Neha, Neha, listen. Um, yes, Mother, I'm coming. Please, you have to get ready quickly. I don't think your groom can wait. Hey, quiet! <laughs> <laughs> She's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Vera, can I ask you something? Of course, go ahead. Do you really love Nishant a lot? <laughs> uh, yes, I guess I love him. I've known him all my life, and he's a good friend as well, so... <laughs> Do you love him? Juhi, it's my engagement today. Then we'll get married. And eventually, we'll fall in love with each other. That's how everything works, right? Don't you ever think that you should find someone special in your life, too? Don't you want someone to fall in love with you? I think you watch too many movies. But remember one thing. Life is not a movie. You need to realize that. Trust is an important part in a relationship. And I really trust Nishant a lot, Jui. And I believe that he'll give me all the happiness he can. Vera, your father came to see you. Father came to see you. Yes, I know that. He came to give you his blessings. But why? I'm getting ready now. And you can... When it comes time for the ritual, why can't you bless me like everyone else? When the time comes for the rituals... But you know that this isn't possible, Vera. Why? Why isn't it possible? It's not possible because he doesn't want to face all the guests, isn't it? I really don't want anyone's blessing in secret, and I hope you understand that. Just stop arguing with no, me. No, 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 Rima. It is a special day. Anyway, God bless you, Vera. Vera, I don't like this. Come on now, don't spoil your mood, okay? Just get ready now. <laughs> Wasn't Vera looking extremely beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> Nishant, do you want to take anything? No, don't worry. We're already looking after him. Oh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> I hope you're comfortable. Hmm. So you finally managed to convince Vera to get married to you? Yes, there's still a long way to go. I really hope that, you know, we get married very soon, you know. <laughs> so you'll do what I want? Yes, of course I would. What is it that you want from me? Everything you want. How sweet, right? I'm getting the feeling that it is time to leave now. I think you're right. <laughs> we'll leave now. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Take care. Nishant, um... I want to get married as soon as possible. Yes, I want the same thing. 
And the honeymoon? Really? I think you should decide about the honeymoon yourself. No, I can't. It'll be a problem. What problem? You've traveled almost half of the world <gasps> since you're an air hostess. Because if I choose a place, I'm sure that you'll say that, sweetheart, I have already been over there. Then you'll <laughs> tell me to go alone. No, no, I won't say that. Promise? You don't trust me. I trust you more than I trust myself. Niha? Yes, Mother? It's time to begin with the rituals, so go get everything ready. Yes, Mother. Make it fast. Niha, my child? What happened to the engagement plate? Here's the engagement plate. I really didn't want to miss your engagement. What are you doing here, Vivan? It's your engagement, Vera. Tell me, how can you be getting engaged to somebody else? Who is he? Mm -ma are you Vera's mother? Nice to meet you. God bless you. You... Vivan. Vivan Suryavanshi. Please, you must stop her. Vera, how can you get engaged to someone else? You already know how much I truly love you, right? I can take care of you in a way that this person never will. He would never be able to... to love you the way that I can. Don't waste your time loving him. I brought the preparations. Vera, how can you just be getting married to somebody else? Vera, you know that I love you a lot. I love you a lot. I love you, Vera, I love you. Stop it. Just stop it, okay? How dare you, Vivan? Your love gave me the strength to do this. What nonsense. I, I don't even know you. What are you saying? When Vera is saying that she doesn't know you, why are you creating a scene? Now, why are you embarrassing her? I was just, just saying be that. Quiet. Why are you talking to him? And you? Leave right now. I said leave right now. Vera told you that she does not know you. This is not the truth, Uncle. Why don't any of you trust me? We do know each other. In London, Dubai, Singapore, on the plane in the shopping mall. And we were at the same college too. Vera, tell them. Please tell them. Yes, he's telling the truth. We have met each other before. But to say that those meetings were because I loved you is crazy, Vivan. Why don't you tell everyone how all of those meetings took place? He followed me everywhere, everywhere I went. I'm sorry to tell you this, but that is not love, Vivan. Then you tell me, Vera, what is true love? Tell me, Vera. What is true love? I don't think that it's important for me to answer your question at all, Vivan. It's because you don't really know what it is that you want in life. As if you know. Who are you to say all of these things to me? Now I'll ask you again, Vera. Do you love the person you're engaged to? With your whole heart, Vera? It's really not important for me to answer all of your questions, but I will, for your benefit. I already plan to spend my entire life with Nishant and to build a family with him as well. Why can't you understand that? Understand that Nishant has all the qualities a girl wants in her life partner. He's mature, understanding, loving, and he believes in the happiness of others more than his own happiness. And that is what we call love, giving more than taking. I feel very lucky to have Nishant as my life partner. Are you happy now? Can you please leave? Enough, too much arguing. Now there's no need to waste more time. Come on Nishant, my child, let's start the engagement ceremony.
One minute, Fear. What's wrong? What's he saying? He really loves you? He's just saying that. And I didn't say anything. And as it is, why should we care if he's talking so much nonsense, Nishant? No, Vera. Saying such a big thing is never a joke. There might be something. We'll have to think about it. I need some time to think. What do you mean by that? Huh? How is it my fault that he says all this? I promise you that he's lying. It could be possible that your talks lead to something more than what you're telling me. So you really don't trust me at all? I can't say I trust you. I'm sorry. Soon we are going to be engaged, Nishant. In fact, it would have been if it he had... It just didn't come at the right time. You need some time to think about it, right? But now already I've thought. There is no use in getting engaged to someone when there's no trust in a relationship. What is the use of getting into a relationship that leads to absolutely nothing in the future? So I'm ending this engagement. Vera, one minute. Please, just Vera? listen to me. Vera? Vera, what are you doing? Vera, it's extremely hard to get happiness. And it's not good to throw it away in one minute. And we have to take care of our relationships. We have to listen to a lot of things and bear it. Why? Why do I have to? You do not have to, Vera. Then what is this, Mother? Nishant leaves me in front of everyone and says he doesn't trust me. How do you expect me to feel? And then after all of this, Mother, I should just get engaged to him once again? It's not Nishant's fault that all of this happened today. The way that boy portrayed all those things, it seemed like all of those things were true. Oh, I don't think so. I was saying that... that Nishant had a... There is no reason to get angry at what Nishant said. This is our family matter, Mr. Malhotra. And I don't want any outsider to interfere in my personal life, do you understand? Vera, how dare you talk to your father like he that? He is not my father, okay? He's not my father. And if he really was my father, he would have stood up for me and asked Vivan how he could just embarrass his daughter like that. In front of everyone, why he made such a joke out of his daughter's life. And if he really was my father, then he would have stood in front of Dishad and asked why he doesn't trust his daughter. And if he really was my father, then he would have said that he can't give my life to someone who doesn't even trust me. My child. Please do not call me that. This relationship that's hiding in these four walls is, is just an embarrassment for you in front of a crowd. The next time that you try and pretend that we are close to each other, I am warning you. Vera, please listen. Vera. Vera! Just let it go. Vera won't tell us about anything that happened. Disgusting. I don't think the newspapers get any news. They just print anything. Why? What news are you reading? Yesterday, a girl's engagement was cancelled because of a... Her lover. Then it was printed. Really? How did this happen? I just read the headline now. Take it and read it. And you take your tea. Morning, Father. Good morning. Morning, Mother. Good morning, my child. How are you? Very well. What happened, my son? You seem extremely happy. You got up early this morning. That's not normal. <laughs> oh, come on, Dad. You always used to tell me that when you wake up, you finish your work on time and then you can relax. What do you say? Isn't that right? So here I am. Well, I say many things. But anyways, what are you doing? Well, Father... Well, if you also wake up early in the morning, then I will make you some tea. Oh, don't worry, I'll help myself. Okay. Listen, listen to the news. The lover was the reason behind the breakup, it said that when your love is intense like that, it's uncontrollable. The enraged lover went to the girl's engagement ceremony 
and took his own engagement plate. And then what the lover longed for actually happened. Oh my. I would really like to know his name, but how interesting. Oh wow, the news is interesting, but they don't give you the name. Radhika, the news hides the identity of these people. But today's children are doing all this. And in our time, people were in love as well. But not like this. Mother, it's not about the generation. Whether it was yours or ours. If someone falls in love, then they... cannot bear to lose their lover. Ooh, you know a lot about love, my son. Are you doing PhD on love? <laughs> No, Mother. I'm... just trying. Mother, everything got printed in the newspaper. <laughs> After all, they have to sell their newspapers. I'm really worried, Vera. What happened was not a small thing. I'm fine, Mother. Trust me. What are you so worried about? Mother, everything that happened isn't anyone's fault. Don't worry. So why are you making yourself sad by thinking about it all the time? Ma... I will call you back later, Mother. I'm sorry. Please.